Well, since she get mixed and mastered, it's gonna be a gem, a diamond in the rough. That's what I am, a diamond in the rough. Come from the back of 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 the bay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, we just rolling up a little weed. Come on, Ace in the building. Uh, I'm just telling them, Ace, like, uh, still, uh, no sick days is like, this is the album that I made for me. You know what I'm right, saying? Like, right. it's, it's not for the, it's for the fans. It's to make some money, yeah. But this is the first album I've done in a long time right. where I just came in the studio every day, every night. Went out to Nashville, hollered at Stoner a few times, and just made music that I liked. Right, right. I don't have nobody over my head telling me yes or no. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. The album, oh, shit. the album is jamming, and like you know, like this is one of the albums. Like normally, I'll send Paul and Juicy, you know, a few tracks to see if they like them and stuff. And you know, I haven't even been doing that on this project. I really just want to surprise everybody and just drop a good solid album. I mean, it's got a lot of variety on it. I got Ace on one track. I got Big Bro E from Thug Therapy on another track. Maturity, well. yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know, motherfucker, just growing up, get a little older, mm -hmm. and I mean, I pick, you know, I, me and me and Mr. Phillips, we, you know, we we did all this, the beat selection between me, him, and Stoner. You know, we picked out all the tracks, and I picked that shit that makes my head bob. Cause if I don't like the shit, you ain't gonna like the shit, you know. No Sick Days is jamming as fuck. Uh, it's not one of them albums I came in on two weeks and just worked on it. I've actually been working on it for about three, four months now, just putting little songs together here and there. Uh, took a break in between recording the album to knock out the bar album for Fraser Boy, because I know me and Fraser's chemistry is just crazy. We can go in and just bam, 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 knock them out. Um, started back on the bar album. Uh, you know, got brought, you know, the Chat and Boot album, the, the Witch Project. Took a little pause on that, kept working. But you know, we was working on a little bit of everything all in between. And I dropped White Christmas 4 in between all of it. So I've actually been working on like four projects in the last six months. Uh, but No Sick Days is definitely like my little diamond in the rough. Uh, we got some stupid production on there. Um, we got a track from Jazane on there. We got a little bit of DJ Paul production on there. We got some colleagues production on there. We got fucking Matic Lee. God, sorry, Matic. Matic brought two bangers to bangers to the back to the album. Um, DJ Byron One made one of the tracks. Shout out to Byron One. Shout out to Riz, Hostel American. Uh, Stoner, Stoner made like six of the bangers on the album. So man, shout out to T Stoner, man. And uh, me and Stoner actually are, you know, we're gonna go in and do all the final, you know, in the final mixing on everything and put that little tweaking on everything. The, the, I call it the the Paul and Juicy shut the door effect. You know, get all the rappers get out the room, shut the door, lock it, and let the magic happen. But uh, the album does drop on 420. Uh, who else have we got on that? We got Thug Therapy on the album. I've actually got Ace on one track, E on one track. Kind of separated up a little bit. Uh, I got Fraser Boy on a track. I got a little chat on a track. I sent one song to somebody. I'm trying to get this feature back, man. You know what I'm saying? If I can get it back, it'd be cool. If not, everything's still kosher. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, man, I was just jamming. It's really just a lot of good little white on the album, I think. Like, a lot of variety. Like I said before, we got some straight up house party tracks. We got some straight up gutter tracks. We got some real life situations. We got some, we got a crier. We got a crier on the, the album, like straight about my daughter's like, and some people will feel it, some people won't, don't matter. I didn't write it for the people who don't feel it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it's overall just a feel good album, man. I'm, I'm had, I had fun recording it. And like like I was telling, uh, you know, my manager, Wes Phillips, shout out to Wes Phillips. I'm not done, like as soon as the album drops, I'm gonna be back in the studio the very next day. Like, as soon as we send this off to fucking press and shit, I'm not just gonna take a three, four, five, six month break. Like, see, that's where a lot of people fuck up, and I've done it my damn self. Like, back in the past, you know, you drop an album and you think it's cool to just take a break. Fuck that. I ain't taking no more breaks. No sick days for real. I got a cold right now. Oh, my house flies. I